Dear students, welcome. Today in this particular video presentation, we are going to discuss about what is circular motion and what is uniform circular motion. So let's get started. Now, in order to understand about the uniform circular motion, first we have to understand and discuss what is circular motion. So what is circular motion? The motion of an object or a body in a circular path is known as circular motion. So here you can see the motion of earth around the sun or the motion of moon around earth are examples of circular motion. Now what is uniform circular motion? If an object moves in a circular path, so if an object is moving in a circular path, right, with uniform speed, so the speed is uniform that is the magnitude of the velocity is uniform right so if an object is moving in a circular path with uniform speed its motion is known as uniform circular motion now uniform circular motion is an example of accelerated motion how on one hand we are saying that it is uniform motion on other hand we are saying that it is accelerated motion why because once again we have to understand that vectors have two dimension they have direction as well as magnitude so in this case the magnitude of the velocity that is the speed of the object is not changing but what is changing is the direction so when direction of the motion changes the velocity changes and when the velocity changes then there is acceleration so uniform circular motion is an example of accelerated motion because in a circular motion the body continuously changes its direction. So the speed of the motion is not changing but what is changing is the direction of motion and when there is change in the direction of motion the velocity changes and when there is change in velocity with time there is acceleration. Now how do we find the speed of the an object moving with uh, uniform circular motion so the circumference of the circle of radius r is given by 2 pi r as we all know right so if a body takes t time if a body takes t time to go around the circular path once it completes one lap of the circular path then the velocity that means it is not the velocity it is basically the speed the speed of the object that means the v is given by 2 pi r which is the distance covered by the object in one lap that is the equal to the circumference of the circle divided by the total time it takes to complete one lap so this is how we can calculate the velocity of the that is not the velocity rather it is the speed of the object which is under the uniform circular motion now what is more important is when an object is undergoing this uniform circular motion or even circular motion the direction of the velocity at any point so if i take if i am taking or considering one point suppose this is the point a so what is the direction of velocity vector at point a so it would be tangential to the line which joins this point a to the center of the circle so center of the circle is this point so if I draw a line that is directly a straight line which joins a and this center the velocity vector is at 90 degree to this straight line so velocity is tangential at this point so basically now there is one force which is required for any type of circular motion without this force circular motion will not take place and what is this force this force is known as the centripetal force now this force is basically directed towards the center of the circle and similarly the direction of the acceleration is also the same direction in which the centripetal force which is towards the center so I hope you are able to understand that uniform circular motion is basically an accelerated motion because in this the magnitude of the velocity that is speed is not changing but 
the direction is changing and when there is change in direction the velocity also changes when the velocity changes it is known as acceleration right so once again let us understand about this whole concept uniform circular motion is motion in which there is no change in speed the magnitude of the velocity does not change uniform speed but what is changing is the direction of the velocity vector the direction of the velocity vector at each point in the circular motion changes and the direction of velocity is tangential to the point right it is 90 degree to the force which is acting on the object at that point and this force is known as the centripetal force which act towards the center of the circle so as the direction changes at each point when the direction changes the velocity changes and when there is change in velocity it is an example of accelerated motion right so uniform circular motion is an example of accelerated motion so i hope that you are able to understand this concept right so let us go further so uniform circular motion is a motion of an object traveling at a uniform speed on a circular path now if we want to calculate the time period that is the time taken by the object to complete one circular lap the time period t is the time required to travel once around the circle right so to complete one revolution so t that is the time period is equal to 2 pi r that is the circumference of the circle divided by the speed right and if we want to calculate the speed so v is equal to 2 pi r upon t so that we can easily find out right what is r r is the radius of the circle now when we discuss circular motion or uniform circular motion this circular or uniform circular motion cannot be possible it is it is not possible without centripetal force so for uniform circular motion a body needs a lateral force which constantly changes its direction of velocity right needs a lateral force such that it continuously changes its direction this force is called as centripetal force and the direction of centripetal force is always towards the center of the circular path so this is the direction of the centripetal force this f is the centripetal force and it is acting on this object if the centripetal force is not acting then no object will undergo circular motion similarly when earth earth revolves around sun the centripetal force is basically the gravitational force of attraction which the sun exerts towards the earth similarly when the moon revolves around the earth the centripetal force in this case which is acting on moon is the earth's gravitational attraction towards moon so centripetal force is defined as the radial force which is directed towards the center acting on the body in a circular motion and without centripetal force no circular motion is possible so i hope that you are able to understand this whole concept of circular motion and uh, with this the last topic of this chapter gets completed